Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Today I'm going to show you how to check your ball joint, see if it has gone bad or if it's still good. So here's what a bad ball joint sounds like when you turn the steering wheel or your suspension moves. And upon visual inspection you could see the boots to the ball joints are cracked allowing dirt and water and everything to get in there and these are non-greasable so these need to be serviced. This is the lower ball joint that we're looking at. Here's the upper ball joint and you can see it's the same story. The upper ball joint can't be replaced. The whole control arm has to be replaced. But with the lower ball joint we could replace just the ball joint. I'm now going to show you how to check the ball joints with the truck jacked up off the ground. So with both tires securely off the ground you want to grab the 12 and 6 o'clock positions on the tire, wiggle it back and forth, pushing in and out, feeling for any play. When I say play, you're going to feel some type of movement. Your tire should be solid, and if it moves, if there's a clicking feeling or a, like a clunk feeling, then you could potentially have a worn out ball joint. And since you have the truck lifted off the ground, you might as well check the 3 and 9 positions. When you wiggle this back and forth, any play might indicate a bad tie rod, bad bushings, or even a bad bearing. And then what you might want to do is get like a crowbar, some type of long bar, go underneath the tire, and you just want to move it up and see if there's any clicking. And I feel a nice clunk, and I'll show you now what's causing it. There should be no upward and downward motion in a ball joint. So when you're doing your test with the tire on, you'll feel this clunking. Also when you're driving, you might even feel or hear this clunking from this moving up and down. So I showed you how to do the wiggle test with the wheel and how to visually inspect them. But here's how to check them when you have the ball joint off the knuckle. So you can see this ball joint is very loose. Not only is it loose, it's clunky. So when you try to move it back and forth, it's not smooth like it should be. A good ball joint will feel tight and it'll be smooth. And as you've already seen, there's upward and downward motion. So this ball joint is shot. The upper ball joint is even worse. It has way too much play in it could be moved way too easily and it's barely being held into place. I'm glad I'm replacing these ball joints. Now let's compare the new ball joint to the old ball joint. The new one is tight with no play and it's difficult to move by hand. When you move it, it's smooth and it feels solid. And you've already seen the old ball joint. It's loose and clunky. So these are all the methods you could use to test your ball joints. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing. I publish how-to videos weekly and I answer all the questions and comments you guys leave in the comments section below. Up on the screen are going to be three different videos. If you want to see any of these videos, you could click on the videos on the screen or you could also find the links to these videos in description below. Also in the description below are going to be the links to Chris Fix Facebook and Twitter pages. So if you use Facebook or Twitter, go check it out.